Libra, hello, and welcome to Gina Moon. This is your reading for what this person feels for you at this given time, okay? Now, this is a timeless reading, which means that whenever this message finds you and whenever you find this message and reading, then that means that this reading is for you at this given time, okay? Also, remember to check out ginamoon.com, click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces for both men and women, bracelets, necklaces, rings, and much, much more. You can also find the direct link to my shop down in the description box below. And if you would like to watch the link to the extended, the link to the extended is also down in the description box below. Without further ado, let's jump right in. How does this person feel about you? So, all right, we're going to start off with this one. Time is ticking. So here, you know, it says time is ticking, things moving too fast or not moving at all. Time is difficult to calculate when in union, but feels never ending when apart. So even though things might be either moving very fast or not too fast at all, very slowly, this person feels like time goes by too slowly when never you guys are not together. Okay. The number nine is equal to success. Okay. So this person wants to have success with you and their message from them to you is I am trying to be patient. I want you to return and I want to return to you. Being apart from you feels like an eternity. Okay. So whenever this person is away from you, even if it's just, you know, a little bit, of time apart, it feels like an eternity to them. Okay. This person is trying to be patient, but they know, and they're realizing that they do want you. They want more of you. They want more of your time of your attention. So time is ticking. We're going to see what this is when we clarify. All right, let's continue with the reading. And it says here, outer turmoil. So this says outer turmoil, battles, arguments, and unnecessary conflicts feels their world is falling apart. Literally physical world filled with chaos, confusion, and destruction. So right now this person feels like they're going through a lot in their own personal lives. There's a lot of outer turmoil happening in their lives, in their career, with their family members, and even between both of you guys. If there's a lot of arguments happening between both of you guys, it's because this individual has a lot going on in their lives. And therefore, that's why there are battles, arguments, unnecessary conflicts, because they feel like everything is just working against them. This person right now feels like you know, the tides are coming at them and they feel like their world is falling apart. Okay. So that's why this person might be going through a lot of confusion, a lot of destruction, and they feel like their lives are just filled with chaos. And the message that they have here for you is I feel my life is falling apart and I don't know what to do. Whatever can go wrong has gone wrong. But the one thing that felt right is you. Okay. So this person feels like you are the only one who can really bring in that stability, that sense of comfort, that sense of everything is fine, that sense of peace. Even though their whole world is falling apart right now, they kind of feel like you are the only one that can bring them that peace. Okay. Let's go ahead and put that one on the side. All right. So what else? Great source of power. Wow. So look at that. So the dream team of change, the reunion creates exponential growth, highly influential and agents of change. This is basically, you know, the fact that both you and this individual might be very different from each other, but you guys bring together your differences in such an incredible way that it makes you a power couple, right? So, you know, the you and this person can create a lot. You guys together can build a lot. Okay. Again, even though you guys might might be very different from each other. It's like those differences end up working out when you guys come together, join forces. And so this is a dream team of change. If there is a reunion here, then the reunion will create exponential growth. Okay. You guys will become highly influential together, but not apart. 
Okay. Now here also, I never understood what people meant when they use the term power couple is what they're telling you. However, since meeting you, I realize how much positive change we can create together. So they're realizing that this person, they don't want to be apart from you. They don't want to be away from you. They realize that together you guys can be each other's kind of like, you know, um, inspiration, right? Like, you know, without you, they feel like there's chaos in their life. They feel like there's turmoil, but when they're with you, they feel like you're the one who brings them stability. You're the one who brings them peace. And for you, you might think to yourself, oh, they're very different from me right? We don't see eye to eye, but when you guys come together, you guys have to think about what brings you two together instead of what sets you guys apart, okay? Because this is the dream team. Remember, you guys are meant to be that power couple in the world. Let's go ahead and continue the reading. So here we have settling, okay? And it says here, unsatisfied and feels alone while with someone. Your wants, needs, desires are being con uh, uh, chronically unmet, accepting less than what you deserve. And that doesn't exactly sit right with you. This person is very hard for them to settle. They always want more. They always strive for more, which is a lot of times why they create their own chaos in their own lives, because they kind of feel always unsatisfied. They feel like nothing is good enough. Nothing is ever good enough. And as you can see here, it looks like this vase has been broken and brought back together, right? There is a sense of kind of recognition that, hey, you know what? Maybe I'm being too stubborn. Maybe I'm being too much. Maybe I'm, you know, being too critical. So there's this energy here where this person, you know, might not be easy for them to accept less than what they kind of visualize they deserve, right? And so I know I'm not happy, but I feel I have no way out. I just can't walk away from my duties, responsibilities, and the one that I am with, even if I'm not entirely happy. So if this person is with somebody else, not for everybody, that's only for some of you guys, this person feels like, you know, um, they, they can't walk away from them right now, right? They know that in that energy, they're unhappy, whether it's with a job, whether it's with a project, they're overworking or with a, you know, a very tumultuous situation, they're not happy, but they right now feel like they're stuck. They feel like there's no way out. There's that victimhood mentality, right? And they can't just walk away from the responsibilities. They want you to know that. Um, or the one that they are with, if they are with somebody, not for everybody. But here, even if they're not entirely happy, this person feels like at this particular moment, they can't just walk away. Okay. Now we also have your attached. For a lot of you guys, this person might be attached. They might be with somebody. Okay, whether you know it or not, I do see you're not for everybody. That's just for some of you. Afraid of the unknown karmic ties and responsibilities in a committed relationship with someone else. So this person might be with somebody else, or they might be committed to their work, to their job, to their career, to their goals. They might have some other commitment, right? Whether it's a person, a physical thing, or it might be an environment, right? They're connected. They're attached to something, to someone, to an energy, right? That is keeping them from really opening up to you. Okay. I am connected to my karmic partner due to responsibilities. I want to face my issues head on and work through things before I return. I know it's not easy, but I'm trying my best. So this person might be attached to, again, a job, a place, a person, a thing, you know, and there's something there for them to learn. Right now, this person does want to face their issues head on and they want to work through things before they return. But right now they feel like it's not easy. Okay. For others, this person is actually attached to another individual. Let's go ahead and continue with the reading. Oh, this one to flip out. We will take it. So mirroring. Yeah, so here with mirroring, you know, it says here, your soul is a mirror of my own. Thank you for treating me with love and respect. This person is realizing that you and them mirror each other, right? Whatever it is that, you know, they feel like they lack, they look at you and they're like, oh my God, you have that. They admire you for that. Okay. And whatever they criticize in you as well, this person feels like they don't have that within themselves. And that's why they're criticizing, right? So your soul is a mirror of my own. Thank you for treating me with love and respect. You guys are mirroring each other and they thank you for loving them. Oh, 
Okay, so that flipped out. A lot of them are flipping out just like that. So here we go. You make me feel alive. I choose you without a doubt. My heart yearns for you. This person misses you. They yearn for you. They think about you day and night. Okay. Uh, also, I do sense that this person, whenever they're with you, that's the only time that they feel alive. Other than that, they feel like their life is full of chaos, drama, stress, right? But whenever they're with you, this person feels like they are, you know, at peace. You make them feel alive again. You make them feel like they're able to live life, right? They choose you without a doubt. Their heart is yearning for you. So yeah, they're missing you. That wanted to flip out as well. Okay. So moonlight, the moon represents your emotions. Moonlight is the reflection of your love. Whenever this person looks at the moon and the stars, they think about you. Okay. They communicate with you. Moonlight is also about emotions. They have deep emotions for you, whether they show them or not. The moon represents your emotions. Moonlight is the reflection of your love. Whenever you see the moon and the moonlight, they feel like that is a representation of your love together, okay? I see here thoughts as well. So thoughts, there, is, there isn't a day that goes by that I don't think about you. You are the one for me. So even though this person is struggling to make changes in their lives, they feel stuck in a situation that they cannot get out of, it doesn't matter because there is not a day that goes by that they don't think about you. You are the one for them, okay? You are the one for me is what they are saying. And sweets. Okay, so you are like candy, cake, and chocolate. The decadence of your soul makes me melt. So this person feels like whenever they're with you, you are like candy, right? It's kind of like, you know, sometimes you can't have too many sweets because, you know, they, it, it will be, it, it's not too healthy, right? But this person feels like they can't get enough of you, right? You are like candy. You are like cake and chocolate, right? It's like the forbidden fruit, the decadence of of your soul makes me melt. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay, so they crave you. It's kind of like craving sweets, right? They crave you. They feel like you're a sweetheart, like you're sweet. You're like candy, cake and chocolate, and only you can make them melt. All right, let's see. King of Wands, Judgment, and the Devil, Reverse. So here at the moon also, this person is going through a lot of emotions, okay? They're going through a lot of emotional turmoil. This person may also be hiding something. There might be some kind of truth that they are hiding in the background that they have not expressed to you. But soon this individual will be able to transform their energy, to learn the lessons, to grow, to really um, expand into wisdom, okay? And that wisdom will allow this individual to finally stop any self-sabotaging behavior, cut off any narcissistic behavior, any addictive cycles, okay? Because this person will receive that wake-up call. This person will be awakened to you, to your love, to your energy. And once this person awakens to you, to your love, to your energy, they will be learning the lesson and growing up, okay? Let's go ahead and clarify. What is this outer turmoil? What is this outer turmoil that this person is experiencing and going through at this moment? Yeah, so right now, part of that outer turmoil has to do with either moving, changing, you know, um, a lot of communication. It could be that a lot, a lot of things in their life are moving very, very quickly for their own comfort, right? And so I see here that this individual will be communicating with you, but right now the turmoil has to do with move, right? Moving on, moving away from something or someone. It could be the fact that right now this person is feeling like there's a lot of chaos and conflict in their lives, and they have to think about their future. And so there's transition. They're going through a very, very drastic transition period. And soon, soon, very soon, this person will be giving you attention. But after they go through this transition, okay, this individual is planning a future together with you. However, first you have to allow them time to go through this transition. Okay. This is also leaving something behind and going into something new, but there will be success here. I do see success on the horizon. Let's go ahead and continue the reading and let's see this great source of power, this power couple here. What is this all about? 
So five of pentacles, 10 of uh, wands, the death and the two of wands. So yeah, I do see here that this individual might be, you know, trying to understand their own feelings or emotions. They are going through a lot of trauma right now, you know, reliving that trauma that they experienced from childhood or from the past. This person could have abandonment trauma, abandonment issues that they're working through. They could also be going through uh, a lot of financial struggle. Okay. They're struggling a lot financially. This person is worried about their future. They do want to have a future with you, but right now this person is trying to end something, right? They're trying to put something that has been stressing them out to an end and they will be transforming. There will be transformation, but this is a process, right? It's going to take some time. I'm also seeing here that this individual, you know, is afraid to be left out on the cold. And so therefore this person is resistant on letting something go that eventually it will still crumble. Eventually it will still end. Okay. Some kind of, again, trauma here, healing the trauma, changing from negative to positive. But I'm also sensing that for some it could be a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. This individual is thinking about their future, planning for the future. This person could be at a distance from you for the time being, not for everybody. Okay. Let's go ahead and now, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's clarify, uh, settling. Okay. What is this settling situation all about? The high priestess, the tower, the page of cups at the bottom here, the six of cups. So for some, there will be a reconciliation for others. This person is missing you reminiscing about the good old days. They want to bring you an apology, offer you a gesture of love, you know, because for some, you guys are connected from a past life, right? This is a past life union, a past life connection. And so this person wants to make amends. They do miss you. They think about you. They cancel thinking about you. And for others, this person wants to come in with an apology. I'm also seeing here, it could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, not for everybody, but this person, whatever it is that they're hiding, it's going to come out into the open. And I feel like what they're hiding is real emotions. You know, the fact that they want to make a move on you, the fact that they do have romantic feelings for you. However, this individual has been sweeping the problem under the rug for so long that soon that tower is going to crumble. Okay. The more that they ignore it, the uh, closer that they get to, you know, having this epiphany awakening moment, there will be a blessing in disguise. I do see that this person is telepathic. They're very intuitive. They pick up on you, your vibration, your, you know, you guys might have a telepathic connection as well, but this person will be coming in to make an offer because they cannot stop thinking about you so much so that something in their lives is going to end. It's going to crumble. And that's when this person will be coming in. Let's go ahead and continue the reading. What is this attached all about? Remember, attached could be attached to a person, place, thing, career, you know, an energy, an old way of thinking. Yeah, so I see here that, you know, at the bottom, like the Knight of Pentacles. So even though this is going to take a little bit of some time for this individual to really get it together, it's going to be a process. Okay, so I do see here that this individual, okay, there might be some kind of an argument, you know, some kind of uh, an ending. This person is going to go through some kind of a painful ending. If you guys went through a painful ending recently, it had to do with some kind of an argument or this person trying to get away with something. And I do sense that this individual, okay, they will be growing, they will be maturing. And again, with the King of Pentacles, that means that this person is going to come in to the situation, a wiser, more stable individual, you know, providing loyalty, providing uh, generosity as well. Okay. Let's go ahead and get one final message before we go into the extended. All right, so here we have fantasizing. I fantasize about our future together, our home, our kids, our vacations. I want it all. This individual keeps fantasizing. They keep kind of like wanting to do this with you, have this with you. But again, they're going through something right now. And uh, until they end that situation, that situation for them comes to an end, then this person can start building, okay, for the future. But they do fantasize about your future together, having a home together, having kids, vacationing. They literally want it all with you. We're going to be going into the extended read to see who this person is more so about their subconscious thoughts about you, their deeper feelings, emotions for you, their next moves, actions towards you, how the situation is all going to turn out and unfold for you. What will be the final result? And we will end the reading with any messages from spirits. So if you want to check that out, the link to the extended is down in the description box below. Also check out 
ginamoon.com. Click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces, bracelets, necklaces, rings, and much, much more for both men and women. So check that out at ginamoon.com. Click on shop or the link to the shop is down also in the description box below. Thanks for watching and until next time. Bye-bye. In the extended reading, I go into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended reading. I am so glad that you guys are loving the extended reading so much. So again, if you want to check out the link to the extended, the link is down in the description box below. And I have partnered with with Psychic Source so that you can receive 10 minutes for only $10 and an additional three minutes for free. I'm not the one doing the readings on Psychic Source, but you can choose any psychic of your choice. You can choose to either talk to them online or call them. Make sure to use my special discount code 26489 at checkout. The link to my Psychic Source partnership is down in the description box below. And check out my website at ginamoon.com. Click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces, rings, bracelets, crystals, necklaces, and so much more for both men and women. So check that out at ginamoon.com and click on shop and follow me on Instagram at ginamoonofficial as I will be posting more on there.